go. Welcome everybody to the uh, 4x4 Sappers Jimpo from the uh, Emilipitia Army Engineers Camp. Quite an outstanding day, beautiful day outside. And here we are now with the chief guest, uh, Lieutenant, uh, sorry, Major General uh, Mendika Samrasinghe arriving for what will be the declaration to open this fabulous, unbelievable uh, human achievement, an achievement for the Army Engineers, quite spectacular. Enjoy what will be a spectacular 4x4 challenge like you've never seen before. This is Sri Lanka at its best. Thank you very much, everyone. The co commandant of the Corps of the Sri Lanka Engineers, Major MCMP Samuel Singha, RWP, RSP, USP, NDC, and PSC of the Corps of the Sri Lanka Engineers flag that we will raise. And then the uh, advisor to the uh, Minister of Defense, the engineer advisor, it's Major General VUB Ananakara. And he will raise the Jimpo flag and the commandant of the Sri Lanka School of Military Engineers, Lieutenant Colonel DP Jai Singha. He will raise the, uh, the flag. And the plaque has been unveiled. Here we are now, the 4x4 Sappers Jimpo 2011. This is the reality. I'm sat in the back of the uh, Marshal's uh, vehicle. Uh, Sean Hamid is just making sure that uh, recovery was very important for him because this course is designed by him. But this 4x4 Sappers is unlike any other in Sri Lanka. It's the first real challenge for these drivers, for the 4x4 club, a massive amount of achievement. For all of you watching, this is what it's all about. The Sri Lanka Army engineers getting together with Sean Hamid and the 4x4, getting this magical course designed, and today we are trying and testing it. Nothing with rehearsals, this is a real thing. You've seen some unbelievable footage. You're going to get even closer to the drivers and to their machines. Sam Chandra Soma will tell you it's about the three M's, and that's what Sean Hamid used to design this course. Man, machine, and mind. And here is the uh, start of this wonderful day, an essay of hard graft between man and machine. And this is a standard class, SUV class. Uh, in fact, uh, it's the SUV class and they're just going to test this course and test their machines. It really is quite an outstanding story as you will enjoy um, the drivers and the co-drivers of course. It's all about coordination, it's all, all about planning and uh, really is uh, quite remarkable when you think that here we are in the middle of Sri Lanka in Amelipitia. This could be anywhere in the world. You could be in Kenya, you could be in South Africa, you could be in Dubai, uh, you could be in Malaysia. But this is Sri Lanka. My country are paradise and you are possibly in the best place ever. Thank you very much, Deb. Here we go. Just making sure now. These SUVs just running the course, trying to make sure that their first assess is on time. Big smiles. There you go. Thumbs up. Thumbs up from us as well and from the crowd who have turned out in their thousands. And now with the standard class, just making sure that uh, they've got the measure of this course. It is not only just testing the vehicles, but also the drivers. And then the very real challenge, the environment, the terrain, crafted, inch perfect. Look at those vehicles. You're going to enjoy. This is just a start. This is just a taster. This is just, you know, very much the first course. So sit back if you're at home enjoying these pictures or anywhere else for that matter. Don't go anywhere. This gets better and better and better.
Look at that. Just the challenge you want. Feel that energy. Good stuff. Beautiful day. Everybody uh, excited to be here despite the long journey. All kitted out, ready, taking the instructions. Absolutely vital that the instructions are followed to the letter. For me, it's just the uh, thrill of being here, the thrill of seeing Sri Lanka and the thrill of seeing the army engineers actually coming out. I mean, these engineers are critical or have been the most critical factor in what was our war effort and in recovery. They, they have this little saying that they're the first there and the last to leave. And that in combat is perhaps the most stark statement you will hear from us. The 4x4 club, of course, marshalling the whole story, you'll see the different terrain and the different challenges. This has been built in an H shape, and here are the big babies, the souped up 4x4s, the extreme vehicles. They're the ones who are going to crawl up and grind through the dirt, get into the water, get on the rocks and try and negotiate their way. Sit back now, because this is heart stopping. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Put yourself into the driver's seat and with your co-driver just try and work this out. It's magical. It really is. Just a little bit of water. Nothing too spectacular. But getting out of it is going to be the whole story. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, class. A little bit of class. It takes a lot to be able to uh, negotiate but also to maintain what would be a, a, a very competent level of patience, knowing when to change gear, knowing when to brake, knowing when to accelerate. There you go. There you go. This means it's at that point. You need to come out. Here's the co-driver uh, getting out. He has to find his way over the roof there. Good one. Trying to think of the best way out. <laughs> Holding on to the windscreen wiper. I'm not too sure the wiper could support that frame, but nevertheless, he managed it, which is full credit to the windscreen wiper, not to him. Here we go. He's dropped the winch as well. Done. There are the attachments, already and prepared. This army uh, camp, I mean, this army creation, the engineers with Sean Hamid, who was the architect of the course and designed it, have taken into consideration every single inch of the requirement. That's the magic. And it has been created entirely here in Sri Lanka. Look at this. Ooh, you gotta feel that grind. Just getting through the mud. And finally, relief across done. This is one of the smaller challenges. Look forward to it. It gets a little bit more complex. There you go. The assess is there. The, uh, the referees, the judges, and the marshals all on course. Timing, done, kitted up, gloves back on, clunk click. Now you talked about balance, you talked about human beings, you talked about machines. Sean Hamid told me the three important M's, the three M's were part of this design. Man, machine, and mind. Soak this one in. See how it feels. What would you do? He's of course gone with the winch and the caution, so he's attached himself to the other side already. Just to make sure. Done. Wasn't prepared to take the risk and go without the winch.
there it is. You can see each one of these uh, different challenges are branded by the sponsors. A critical and vital part of this 4x4 sappers, the Jimpo story from Dunkama. Oof! Lovely. Yes, yes, done. A little bit of applause from the appreciative crowd here. Massive. He's got to get in and get strapped in, put his gloves back on. Then he's good. You've got to love these machines. You've got to feel for them when you see them just get through the rocks and uh, bounce up and down. shouting instructions saying get on the other side get on this side now you got to pace up and get to the uh, assess point still on oh no 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 too much just wasn't enough there now he does it. Now he's home. Yes, you see the punch in there saying done. It is extreme satisfaction. Here we go. Here's the team from Nigambo. My hometown, my gamma. This is the Apuhami uh, the team. They uh, spend a lot of time on 4x4, the Nigambo track in Kochigade is unbelievable, the uh, challenge course there, the hole in Kochigade, done the first time, extremely well done. There's Janaka exiting, immense amount of satisfaction once you got through without too much damage. I think between the rock and the water, those are the two challenges. Have a look at this. I'm just going to shut up and let you enjoy. <laughs> Delighting the crowd. It's the other angle, the other cameras. What a great camera job this has been. Got to put your hand up for T1 and all the camera crew. The whole big story, of course. It takes a huge amount of effort to put all this together. You know, it looks wonderful on film. It's fabulous for the uh, competitors. As the big cheers go up. It really is an awful big effort from the, uh, the Army engineers. From Big Brigadier Udiratna and his team. Quite spectacular. There you go, there's a bit of damage there at the front. But uh, there was a bit of damage. Hit the water quite hard. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Enough momentum. Get in. He's got to get home. He still hasn't got home. Got to strap in, got the gloves on. Come on now. Finish. Just that last bit. So important to get there. Timing stop. Curious crowd. Lovely kids. All the people of Emily Pitt here. Now, this is the big one for me. Because I, you know, the rock is one aspect, but this is just magical. You can sit and enjoy, and you can't believe your eyes, but you can, because it's true. This, I'm just going to be very quiet, and look at this. Look and feel what the driver is going through. Oh my, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's an there's a, uh, actual pathway underneath, and it's where it's following. Perfectly well negotiated, stayed on course because if you actually go off that, you're in the water straight away. You can see, you can see the little bit of track there, just as it gets on, there he is. So they've got to negotiate across and then get back. Oh, what great footage, fabulous camera work. Thank goodness there's no shark in the uh, of the day. Fabulous. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. You can see it on the big screen as well. So well negotiated. Look at this. Look at this. Where is he? This is a submarine. This is a jeep. Are there two people driving? Is that a crocodile? What are you looking at? Unbelievable. Incredible. Spectacular. Impossible. But he's sorting himself out. He's already winched himself just to make sure. But you can see that track just coming out of the water and that's the critical factor. He's got to stay on that track. Let's have a look at it again when he comes around the other side. It's still dripping heavily. There's something wrapped around his front tire. There is just the two track. Now, he's got to stay on that track in the water as well. Well, he can go fishing anytime. I hope he's got a big fishing rod. Great camera. Beautiful. Done. A lot easier on the way back as opposed to the way out. Compared to number seven, of course. Making 107, sorry. Just making sure. There's that track. And there's a replay on the big screen. sitting back you actually you can't imagine that these machines get through look at the grind and look at it churning up as you go through this one just watch as he goes he's now on track he's okay he's on that very special metal underlay and now he loses it there you go just lost it there you go starts to sink because he's off the track in trouble seriously in trouble now his co-driver's got to get out have a look at this oh <laughs> Sappers 4x4 in no uncertain terms, the biggest challenge ever. There's a co-driver trying to direct his driver on back on the track saying, come on, get on, get on, get on. You can see that very clearly. There's a shot of the, uh, the top brass. Colonel Commandant there sat, smiling, enjoying this spectacular achievement by his team his boys the uh, army engineer school here in uh, Amblipitia the Chandrika however all dressed up for the occasion there's the BOC corner there's SEAT you can see the, the big branding the biggest companies in Sri Lanka putting their name to this the Bank of Ceylon fabulous and that's what it's all about sport in our country needs the big blue chip investors <laughs> Look at this. Just testing the he was just testing the track. Just to make sure. Thank goodness they can swim, at least I hope they can. Here they are now back in their machine, trying to make sure that they can actually match and stay on track. Inch perfect, you've got to be inch perfect. One inch across and you're gone. And they've done it. Their Ricky was perfect and they managed to make sure they stayed on course. Nicely done. Look at that water dripping out. It really is a, a rare experience. It, it's almost impossible. Maybe there's a bit of an angle there. I hope he gets it right. As he goes in. Like I said, it's an amazing feeling once the water starts to come over the, uh, the main uh, engine area. And then the relief as you come out of it. Man and machine, it really is the greatest of uh, satisfaction to be able to negotiate the water perfectly and then finish up on the, along the assess and make sure that you haven't got uh, penalty points as well knocked off. Mm. <laughs> Here's another story. No, he's not pulling that vehicle. He's that and he's just trying to make sure that he's guiding that vehicle across. That's one way of doing it. It's the manual way of doing it. <laughs> But now, wait for this. You've got to look at the back of that vehicle because there is water right up to its gills. There he is again. Just trying to direct his uh, driver. Not the easiest of tasks, I'll tell you that much, because he can't see down into the water. He can only feel the track underneath. And he's pretty much, you know, trying to uh, feel his way through. But look at this. The back of this is the secret because they haven't put the back tail down, the tailgate, and the whole vehicle is full of water. Uh, it's just, it's leaking. It's almost like a huge whale taking on so much water. Look at that, the extra tonnage in terms of water in the back must be huge. Yeah, 
you know, it is a painful story. But spectacular for all of us watching at home. Hope you're enjoying these uh, pictures. The visual is quite outstanding. Here's the big one. Jeep Jeep. Sam Chandrasoma's uh, uh, team, of course, Jeep Jeep. And co-driver Deepthi. Beautifully done. Quite precision driving there. Look at that machine. Custom built for hard work. That's the Wrangler story, of course. Nice to see. Well done. There you go. Sappers 4x4 here in Emilibitia. The Jimpo story. Jimpo is a word that the army coined because they thought it was good. Hope you enjoyed. We're going to go now. We'll be back in the second on the other side of it. This is magic. This is the 4x4 Sappers in Emilipitia, the Tunkama camp, all dressed up. You can't ask for more. Welcome back to 4x4 Sappers here, Jimpo, Emily Pitt here, the Army Engineer School, unbelievable. Hope you enjoyed segment one. Now, sit back for segment two. It's magic, it's real. It's the pain that you really want to enjoy, sat in the comfort of your own home. For the drivers, too real to talk about. Adrenaline, you name it, it's here. That's what it's all about. Well, now I'm back sat comfortably. <laughs>